Shay de Monfort here. I just wanted to speak to you very briefly about bullies. I don't know if you've ever done any research on how bullies work, but what they want to do, what, bully wants, what a bully wants to achieve is to steal your energy. Um, bullies at school bully people because they want attention. Bullies on Facebook bully people because they want attention. And currently in Australia, the bullying that's going on of the individual is that they are trying to get the individual to fight back so it uses up your resources. If you want to have the right to exercise your freedom of choice and make health decisions for yourself, right, which doesn't impinge on anybody else's rights because hey if somebody else is vaccinated with an experimental vaccine and they feel protected well then they're protected so you not being vaccinated they should be protected according to their philosophy but that's not good enough for a lot of people and it's definitely not good enough for our government and what we see happening is a lot of bullying where they're trying to force people into the situation where they need to fight I want to remind you all that there are methods, and I've been saying this for quite some time, where we have organizations in Australia that are set up to fight for you so that you don't get bullied and you don't feel like you're in a situation where you have to get militant fight back because you're feeling angry, frustrated, and powerless. Demand that your union stand up for you. And it's been very good to see that police officer today actually won her case in court. Um, even though they settled outside of court, the unions have been able to be proved that they must stand up for the rights of their members, right? And if their members don't want to have a particular uh, situation that is trying to be mandated at their work, they've got to understand that according to the Australian Bill of Human Rights, no business and hospitals are businesses, the police forces run like a business now, no business can put itself in the position where it can be sued for an infringement of human rights. Somebody said to me today that they were going to be sacked, right, because uh, they were refusing to have a vaccine because they have had allergic reactions to vaccines in the past and they feel that it will um, be a great possibility that they'll have an allergic reaction now. Good, allow yourself to be sacked and then you have a fantastic human rights discrimination case. Jehovah's Witnesses know how hard it is to force a medical treatment upon anybody. Everybody has to be taken to High Court. And now we have that precedent in the High Court with regard to workplace bullying where people are trying to be forced to do something against their better judgment. People are not idiots. We have the ability and the autonomy over our human body to make decisions that we feel are best for us. Don't allow yourself to be bullied and very much don't allow the bullies to trick you into fighting, to get into militant. Instead, demand the systems that should be standing up for you, the Human Rights Commission, your, um, your unions and ACAT to come in and do the fighting for you so that you don't get exhausted, you don't expend all of your resources, right? That's what you need to do. There are systems in place to defend you, do that, right? This is Shade Monfort here, right? Wishing you joy. I sang last night off key at a particular event and I don't think a lot of people got that. I was just trying to make everybody laugh, but I hope they did. Anyway, keep your joy, stay happy and don't let anybody steal your energy or your joy. This is a beautiful world that we live in right? and we are going to make sure it stays that way. Every blessing to you, hope and joy and strength for your future. Amen.